just deceit. But anyways, um, cause they daddy get in here, he drive all, he drive with deceit all the way back. You know, you know how they do, child. I'm not even gonna go that way. I was gonna go that way, but that'll be there'll be too much um going on. Where that train is right there. I don't got time for it. I want to go straight to Walmart and get what I need to do. Get so I can get back home and do my cleaning and stuff. Cause I'm trying to do all this deep cleaning before they out. And my kids, let me tell you, I gotta get a, a um larger basket that go in their room. I have to put them a larger basket inside the room. I don't think it's still gonna work. My kids, they'll take off when they get home. They'll get ready and take off their clothes. They'll go and take a bath or whatever. And let me tell you about them. They'll throw the clothes right on the floor in the room. Like, that that's a mess. They'll, what in the world? Now, if this ain't the most ghetto and stuff I ever seen in my life, these people got a sign up, like, saying they have junk cars and holding up the sign with a um, can in the dry box. I guess to each his own, just to get whatever they need to get out there. If that ain't, um, uh, that's so crazy. Anyway. I'm going to, I need to go and get me a selfie stick. I bought me a selfie stick, um, uh, for Walmart. One time, y'all. Oh, that police going fast. But they not far from, um, where they need to, the police station. I mean, the, um, jail, because the jail, like, not too far from here. I love these um Buick Lacrosses. They are so nice. But I don't want nothing. I got to get. I want to. I'm gonna keep this car. But I want to get a um, SUV. So I love this car. This is my. I, this is one of my favorite cars I have had since I have, since I've had like since I bought cars. This is one of my favorite ones. And I call her Misty. This is Misty Blue. That's her name. That's my car name. But I, I love Toyotas. I love um, I love Toyotas. I love um, Hondas. They last a very long time. A very long time. You have to get oil changes and um, what's the thing called? Um, Tune-up. But they last a long time. I I had to turn on the radio because I I just don't want to chance nothing with um I don't want to chance nothing with um with YouTube. They just be tripping sometimes. All these glitches going on your videos and stuff um it's this family dollar i do i don't go in i stopped going in there because they just so rude and mean when you go in there you ask them for something they they act like they mad that they at work i'm like oh my goodness you need to get another job if you're gonna be mad at work yes honey go around me because i'm not gonna try to speed up for you and this person in front of me turning so I'm not in a rush to go get nowhere. So do what you got to do. Boo. But yeah, y'all. They have so many freaking liquor stores here. But let me tell y'all something. We got a church like on every corner here. There's a lot of churches here. So um, you won't have a problem like if you go to church you won't have a problem like finding a uh, place of worship if you go to church we have a lot of churches here a whole whole lot like and i'm not laying like literally on every corner it's a different church i heard i seen something on um facebook by um florida was on a state emergency i got to um, go home and um Watch the news. Oh, that's a nice truck that they got for sale. 
crack it up. I'm kind of iffy about that man of hers, huh? Oh, my goodness. I got me some muscles. I want the muscles. <clears throat> I wanted to eat them last night. But that's something that I, I wouldn't want to eat, like, late at night. It's not my thing. We love crab and seafood here in the city that I live in, y'all. We love it. Everywhere you go, and everywhere you go, you're going to see a um, place that has a seafood shack, too. Because we love seafood here. It's like 73 degrees, y'all. And I know everybody, because um, I know, I'm telling y'all this because I know everywhere... Everybody who watches this, they don't have the same weather as us. Like, sometimes, some people like in their 30s, some people like in their 50s. It's crazy. Like, how the weather, you talk to people and the weather is different in the places that they live. See, I know we're not going to have like a, we might not have a cold Christmas this year. And a lot of people are like they want to move to Florida, not when um it's hurricane time. That's the down part about Florida, the hurricane season. Yep. That's the hard um I can't stand hurricane season. That's why I like having like um gas stoves and stuff because during hurricane season, um you can still cook how you want. You don't have to worry about cooking your stuff on the grill. Because we do have power outages. I remember we had, um, when I lived in these townhouses on um, the south side of our, our town, the south side of our city, um, they, um, everybody was like telling me, Oh, their, their lights was out and everything. Our lights was out, but it was like for a few hours. And then, I say, I, you know what I just realized? I say and then a lot, y'all. But a lot of people were saying their lights was out. But our zone was out for like, for like a couple of hours. But some people's zone was off for like days, like three or four days. That, is, that gotta be the worst not to have power, especially when you have kids, like you have to bathe for them, you have to bathe them, cook them, and every, cook for them and everything I don't um, I part right behind the um, railroad um, thing cause I don't need that thing coming down on my car I love my little car listen, I'm gonna turn right here I'm waiting on these little bit of cars to... I can't wait <laughs> See the roads clear because a lot of people that they, they um starting to go on their um Christmas vacation at their job. I remember when I was working at my job, I always been I always ran out of my PTO time. Every year, but around the time Christmas time, I was running out of my PTO time. So I'm just gonna um And I had started, and I was getting like, I was to the point that I had 28 days of PTO. I had like 28 days of PTO, almost a month. But I ended up getting fired from there. I, I worked there for 11 years. I was there for a long time. And I was sick. I ended up getting sick um, with my last born baby. And they fired me. They said that, that wasn't the reason they fired me, but it was because... I was um not I wasn't able to come in to work like I needed to because I was so sick. Like I my back would hurt so bad I could barely walk or get out of the bed. That's just how bad it was. It was terrible. That's just how bad it was. Now I, I had went um to Walmart yesterday was it yesterday yeah I went yesterday and I went Sunday but um 
I didn't ride on the back roads because sometimes I ride on the back roads, but I stopped riding on the back roads. I, I ride like um, out in the open because people are crazy. You can't sometimes you can't even trust some of the police officers because some of the police officers are crooked. Hold up, y'all. I got to see what's going on here.